Hey there, my name is Matthew Peterson. I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Orcs, where we do everything from private trainings, virtual mentoring, hackathons, on-demand learning. Uh, and for this week's video for Power BI, I wanted to bring to you the personalized visuals feature. Uh, now this was a preview feature made available last year, but now it is generally available. Uh, so it's not a preview feature you need to turn on anymore. Uh, and what personalized visuals allow you to do is after you publish a report, anyone that you shared that report with or anyone who has access to it within your workspace, they can simply personalize a visual just for them and it does not change your initial report. This way you don't have to tackle all those questions of, hey, I like your report, Matt, but can we add this a little bit to it or I wanna change the view of one of our visuals. Now you give them the complete freedom and flexibility to do this. Uh, so let's head on over to the report. Let's take a look at how we can turn this uh, feature on for the individual report and how we can use it. So the first thing that you have to do, the personalized visuals feature is just part of the desktop application now. But when you want to put it on your report, you have to say, yes, I want my users to personalize their visuals. And where we will do that is we're gonna come on up into the file ribbon and we're gonna go to our options and settings for our report and we're gonna go into the options. And then we are gonna go into the report settings of our current file. And again, we're gonna come on down personalized visuals. Now, if you're running an older version of the Power BI desktop, you might need to go into your preview features and turn on the personalized visuals preview feature. But if you're running the May version, uh, which is the one I'm running right now, it's already pre-baked into the desktop. So I'm gonna come over here to report settings and I'm going to click personalized visuals and we will hit okay. And we will now zoom out. Now what you're gonna see when you hover over a visual is you're gonna have this new icon. And this says that this visual is now, once it's published out to the service, they will be able to personalize it themselves. So you might be saying, Matt, what if uh, I don't want every single visual to be personalized? Can I turn off this feature on an individual visual basis? Uh, and that definitely can be done. So for example, if I don't want it to be on our first uh, chart up here, if I simply click on it, and then I come on over into the format section and we go all the way down to the bottom and we go to visual headers. So visual headers, we're gonna go all the way down and this personalized visual down here in the bottom right, we can turn it from on to off and keep your eyes up here. So from on to off, now it is completely gone. So this one is able to be personalized, uh, not personalized, this one over here still is able to be personalized. Well, what if you want to change it for an entire page? Maybe you don't want to go through this whole process for all your visuals. Can you turn it on by a page by page basis? Definitely can as well. So if I came down over here to the page itself and we go to the formatting section, underneath personalized visuals, we can turn them on to off and that would be for the entire page. Um, and so if we go over here, I could also apply this to all pages. So if you want to do it to all pages, um, feel free to do that. You might be saying, well, why would you turn personalized visuals from on to off for all of your pages if that's what you want? Uh, well, the other thing that you can do here is you can, this apply to all pages is really more for what you see right here, the report reader perspective. So when we use personalized visuals, when we publish this, they will see all of our tables and all the columns and they can bring in their own fields from there, change the visual itself. But if you want your end users to have a more uh, kind of focused approach about what fields you might want them to play around with, you can set up a perspective using the tabular editor within Power BI Desktop. So within the desktop, if you go to your tabular editor and you know how to set up perspectives, set up a perspective, and then once that perspective has been set and your personalized visuals is turned on, then under this report reader perspective that you see right here, you will then be able to change it from default fields over to whatever perspective you want. And again, you can have perspectives just show up on one visual, so you would change it just for one unique visual, or you can do it to all of your pages. That's another benefit you're gonna have with this personalized visuals. So now that we know how to turn it on, we really don't do the personalization here. Now we go out to the service to see it at work. So we're gonna publish this report out. So I'm just gonna come on up here to the home. We're gonna click on publish and I'm gonna save my changes and gonna put it in my workspace and we will publish this out in just a moment.
Now that it's published, we're going to go open this up and see what it looks like for our individual users. So let me bring it on over here. And no, let's do that over again. Now that our report is published, let's go take a look at what it looks like for the end users and how they can personalize this. So let me come on down here. This is my personalized visuals. And what we see is up at the top, we don't have that personalized feature because I turned this off for this visual. But let's say I come down here to the sales versus profit margin. There it is, my personalized this visual tool. So when I click on it, notice now we can change the visualization type. So if I don't want to go line and stack column chart, I have all of my views over here to where we could change this. So maybe I want to go line and cluster column chart, uh, which didn't do much of a change there. Let me do something different. Let's just go with a cluster column chart only. And when we go to cluster column chart only, again, all the axes are still here. But if I don't want, let's say I don't want profit margin in here to be one of my other columns. So I can simply hit the ellipses and say, let's remove this field. And now that field has now been removed. And let's say I wanted to put something else in for the legend. So we'll add in a field and let's bring in, I'll just go with uh, our sales territory country. And so I'm bringing this in. And again, if you had set up perspectives, when you click on these uh, options to the right, you would have that perspective show. You could have the perspective show with all of your default fields as well, or only show just the perspective itself. And so you see now we have a lot of this flexibility of changing things around. We can bring in other measures, any field that is in this data set, your end users would have access to. So now with that being said, what happens when they make these changes? Well, it's not going to change your report. So if I gave access to uh, my buddy Mitchell, he comes in and he personalizes the visuals. He likes the way that it looks, but well, didn't change mine. So he goes, I like this, but if I come back to this report, I want to see this same thing again. I don't want to go through that whole process. Well, then what Mitchell's going to do is after he sets up his personalization to it, he will come on up to the bookmark section and he's going to say, I want to add in a personal bookmark. And he would call this uh, Mitchell's Better View. And then if you wanted to make this the default view, he could, which means the next time he comes to this report and he opens it up, he would see this bookmark the way that he made it. However, if he just wants to make it a bookmark, he can click on save here. And let's say he comes back tomorrow. So when he comes back tomorrow, it will be back to the original chart that I had. And now he's like, well, I want to go see that bookmark that I made. Well, he comes on up to his bookmarks. He clicks on Mitchell's better view. And then here it is right here. So personalized visuals, it's going to save you some headaches from your end users coming back to you asking for some modifications or changes to it. Uh, they can completely make this their own now uh, without recreating the whole report from the ground up. So personalized visuals is a great feature. Um, if you have old reports, you can now enable this in your old reports just by going to the report settings for your current report and turning the feature on. Again, you would need to republish that report if you've already done that to a workspace if it wasn't turned on to begin with. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have something new that you can add to your uh, Power BI tool belt. Uh, please like, subscribe below. Let us know if there's anything else that you would like covered in future videos, and we'll do our best to get that out there to you.